Here we're looking at staghorn sumac. It's in the family Anacardiaceae, the genus Rus, and the specific epithet is Herta. That's staghorn sumac. This happens to be a cultivated variety, which is what gives the leaves their really bright yellow-green color, and the leaflets are have some ad additional patterning on them that you wouldn't find in natural or native sumac. This entire structure is the leaf structure, and each one of these are, this is pinnately compound, almost bipinnately compound, based on this particular cultivated variety. But these would be the individual leaflets as it goes up. The actual leaf would be darker green in color, but the fuzziness is really something to pay attention to. This is a pinnately compound leaf, and on the inside you can see that little hollow. That's where the bud would be stored. And this milky sap happens whenever you break off a fresh leaf or fresh part of the stem, a little bit of a milky sap. And you can see on this twig that it's got little hairs. So all of staghorn sumac have these fuzzy, very soft, felt-like leaves. Here you can see the bud, and it's fuzzy as well. All around it, the green, is the leaf scar with a little bit of the milky sap coming out. And notice that the branch itself is also quite fuzzy. Here's the fruiting structure of staghorn sumac, and if you can see a little bit, it's fuzzy along the edges. The form of staghorn sumac is more of a shrub, although you can find single stems maybe up to 10 inches in diameter, but it's more common to see it like this. It's sprouted from various roots and the plant itself tends to spread.